Hello everybody, it's me, Big T, the Blessed Brother from Another Mother, and today we're going to be playing a game that although it's past Halloween, it still holds up well, Ghostlight Complete. Now this time, I'm going to be doing up to the second level, the first level after the first boss, and I don't like how we only have easy or hard. Ugh, mm, yeah, we'll go with hard. Hopefully this doesn't end badly. So there's two parts, and each part has lost levels. There's a tutorial. There go, the tutorial. So, like I said before, we're going to go past the first boss. So as soon as the first boss is done, that's it for this video. However, it's going to show you the mechanics and... Hold on. Sorry, everybody. I'm trying to read this. And... All right. Yeah, all right, it looks like... Pretty easy controls. And shoot, there we go. And off we fly. So, we do have a couple shout outs. I got three this time. First, uh, for anyone who actually has watched the Power Rangers, I know Halloween has passed, but uh, the Power Rangers were always popular in my neighborhood when I was trick or treating. Uh, Amy Jo Johnson, who was the Pink Ranger, she's actually doing her own movies and she still has a lot of projects going on. Her YouTube profile will be linked below. Just thought it was really cool, and hey, you know what? I, I like. I'm starting to kind of get a feel for this. I, I like doing some things. I love doing shoutouts because eventually someone's gonna trip over these videos and go, "Wow, I actually like some of that stuff." All right, and, that, and they'll go see it, and that's great because you know a lot of these people really deserve a lot more than what they're getting. Second one, seven does it. <laughs> gamer who always has an opinion on everything and that's okay because who doesn't know wow i died i ugh. no i lost two skulls on that anyway oh seven does it she has a lot of opinions and that's great for this place so feel free to go and see what she thinks of some things and her youtube channel link will be down below as well and finally it seems that you know as a cook my pride has to be a little bit on the line Nerdy Nummies, Rosanna Pansini. Hopefully I did not mispronounce that. I apologize if I did. I really do. But she is, she makes a lot of different recipes, a lot of sweets that have a nerd or geek based theme to them. So as I have to, for every person, you know, who cooks that I respect, I, if, if you want to have a, a cooking match, a throwdown, then you know what? Name, time, and place, we'll figure that out. I, personally, that's always a blast. And for those who don't know, I have been a cook for many years, and actually those little kinds of competitions were things me and my friends from, you know, the restaurants from culinary school, we would always want to see who could do what better. So I don't mean it as an insult. I actually mean it as kind of the olive branch or a, you know, friendship. I'm sure there is a very nice-sounding political term for it. I just don't have it. It's just... You know, personally, I want to see who can cook better. I am really competitive that way. Now, with that out of the way, trying not to kill myself. The controls for everything that we have right now is pretty good. I'm. It, the stages look pretty menacing, but. What good could he be to them now? I don't know. Be a superhero, dude. Got a pretty good skull mask right there. Dude, you could be like Dr. Doom, except, you know, good. Bogus. Anyway, uh, let's see what we got here. This is... I did play a little bit. I played the first couple stages. And... Wow. Uh, this must be hard mode. Because I, you know, I did play them on easy, which the only difference that they give you is that your skulls will, you know, they'll be there for a lot longer. As you can see, a couple seconds and I'm toast. See, so gotta get up here and, you know, I was, growing up, I was never really great with platformers, so if I... If you look at it and go, oh, it seems really difficult. It really isn't. I just kind of suck at these. Uh, if you looked at Hardstar and Change Type Zero, you know, 
there were some slight cuts that had to be made because I, I'm more of an RPG action adventure FPS guy. So, yeah. Sorry, just kind of suck in this realm. But, beside the fact, as you can see on the top right of the screen, we do have a meter. You have to kill all the enemies before moving on. And there's four enemies per. So, seems like a very simple, you know, kill the enemies, get through alive, and what have you. The problem stands that some of these obstacles are just not very, um... How can I say this eloquently fair? <laughs> because, as you can see, I don't get a whole lot of room to work with here. Yeah, and... I'm already screwing this up. Crap. Oh, come on. And yeah, this is not going to end well. I may have to turn the difficulty down just to get to the boss, because... Yeah, I'm... I'm not really doing too hot here. But, I do enjoy the look of the game. It has a lot of detail despite being, you know, your character's only so small. So, the music actually has kind of a dark techno vibe to it. Once again, yeah. That's what my computer is telling me every time I try to record music, and it seems I am going to have to wimp out and drop it to easy. Which really, that's not so bad because I've gotten through a couple of stages, so... I apologize. I should say I got through a couple stages on easy. Me getting through one on hard, I'll I'll take it. So, and let's see here. But yeah, I need the uh, really. You can see the difference between the two. There is not a whole lot between you know, difficulty, except damage. There may have been some spikes popping up that I just didn't see, but for the most part, it's pretty fair. So. I mean, it was actually a pretty well-designed difficulty curve, I believe, so let's see, that's one, and jump here, that's two, ow, ow, come on, come on, come on, buddy, and that little, if you don't actually uh, be careful, those wall guys could take out a major chunk of your health before I did recording, I actually got lit on fire pretty, uh, Pretty often, I actually had to learn how to check, which is just looking at the damn thing. Pardon my French. <laughs> my God, I tried stomping on it, and he's returning the favor. That's four, and through the door we go. All right, sunlight sets dead people on fire, so nocturnal travel was the obvious choice. Unfortunately, nighttime wasn't really any safer. Yeah, you know what, dude? You gotta. Oh, you got a little, got a little guy behind you. So, let's see here. That means stage three. And overall, this is why I like playing these little indie games. This was not, you know, one of those things that millions of dollars was put into, and yet it has a story. Got you, little, little bugger. Also, if you've noticed, I've also figured out a way so I can swear and not, you know, I have a way to censor it now, so. Let's see. Thing is, with how the stages are designed, you really have to be on the ball with where everything is going and the timing. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself low on health really quick. It's two. However... From what I've seen, it's always been four enemies, so at least, you know, walking into a stage, you know what you're getting into. There may be more in later stages, and I haven't found them yet. Like I said before, I kind of suck at these platformers. So, I don't know why, but Change Type Zero and Heartstar, I didn't have much of a problem with. I actually beat Heartstar 
So, but you know, a little bit more difficult like this, and you know, I'm not in my comfort zone. Hopefully, I don't make a massive error of judgment, but if I do, you guys can laugh at it. So, let's see. Those little spikes are just really kind of something you also have to remember, because as you can see, there's some on the ceiling. Some would go, oh, that's not really much of a problem. Yeah, except when you jump. So he found himself facing death yet again, and for some reason, it still felt like a big deal. Well, yeah. I would think so. It's not like the first time death is like, oh, yeah, here you go, bro. Just here's a drink, and there you just follow that doorway. Third door on the left, that's yours. Okay. Okay, so three down, and as you can see, the first one of the center pillars open, so I'm guessing this is either fourth stage or boss stage. Come on. Come on. I... Wow, I hopefully the boss will be a little bit nicer. I cannot make a jump <laughs> to get to the boss stage. <laughs> or the, I think it's actually the boss stage, yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. I actually haven't played this far, so we're all going to learn about this together. Aren't you tired? Give up, dead man. Let go. Eh, well, you will not. You shall not pass. Oh, boy. There's a lot of spikes around here. So. Let's see what we got. And he is not going to hop up. Great. So. And. Crap. This is not ending great. I wanted. Nope. Oh, 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 crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. One of the skulls on the other side lit up, so maybe I'm doing better. And that's two. Oh, come on. Three and. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Almost! Ah. Oh, man. Also, I mean... These kinds of games I was never the greatest at. I Mega Man games, I actually beat a few, but I was never the greatest. I preferred Mega Man Legends more. So, okay, let's see. Gotta focus and... Alright, I think I'm just starting to get his pattern down. He'll shoot from the corner, jump over. When he's over me, he'll fire. So, need to get enough room. And there we go. Alright, so that was Ghost Light Complete. And let's see what we got. This time, at least, luck was on his side. Better late than never, he supposed. Overall, it was a good game. The only negative point I could see was the music. It could be a little bit irritating if you don't like that dark techno, but it didn't match with how the game was set up. And overall, it was fun to play. So, hey everyone, if you like this, you can watch another video here. Subscribe, check out my other work, and if you're doing something, let me know. We're on that Twitter read thing. Later!